Have you ever wondered if your baby will be left-handed or right-handed? Most of us assume it's something they figure out as they grow, picking up crayons or throwing a ball. But what if I told you the first signs of handedness, whether your child will favor their left or right hand, actually start before they're even born? That's right. Your baby may already be showing a preference while they're still inside the womb. Scientists have been studying fetal movements for decades, and the results are absolutely fascinating. By the second trimester, as early as 10 weeks, babies start moving their tiny hands. But here's where it gets interesting. By around 13 weeks, most babies already show a preference for one hand over the other. Some will reach toward their faces with their right hand, while others will favor their left. This might seem like just random movement, but research suggests it could be an early sign of whether they'll be right-handed or left-handed later in life. One study used 4D ultrasounds to track fetal hand movements and compared them to the children's handedness years later. The results? Most of the babies who consistently reached with their right hand in the womb grew up to be right-handed, and the same pattern held for lefties. This discovery has completely changed what we thought we knew about handedness, it's not just about genetics or learned behavior. It's happening way before birth. So what actually determines whether a baby is left-handed or right-handed? Is it just random chance? Not quite. Genetics do play a role. If both parents are left-handed, their child is more likely to be left-handed too. But scientists believe there's more at work here. The development of the brain and nervous system also influences handedness, and it starts forming extremely early in pregnancy. And here's another surprising fact. Left-handedness isn't as rare as you might think. Around 10% of the world's population is left-handed, and studies suggest that lefties may have some unique advantages. Some research links left-handed people to stronger creativity, better problem-solving skills, and even faster reaction times in certain sports. Could your baby already be showing signs of these traits in the womb? But what if your baby moves both hands equally? Does that mean they'll be ambidextrous? Possibly, some babies don't show a strong preference until after birth, and a small percentage of people naturally use both hands with equal skill. While handedness is fascinating on its own, it can also be an indicator of how the brain is developing. Doctors sometimes look at early hand preference as a clue about neurological development, but don't worry if your baby seems to switch hands a lot. Many babies take time to settle into a dominant hand, and that's completely normal. So the next time you feel those tiny movements inside you, pay attention. Your baby might already be showing you which hand they'll use to write, draw, and wave at you in the future. If you found this interesting, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more incredible insights into your baby's development. And let me know in the comments, are you left-handed, right-handed, or ambidextrous? I'd love to hear your thoughts.